Hello everyone, my name is Anaskode and today we are going to another QA question from Godot's website. The question picked today is, can you inherit from scenes to share common logic and properties? Is it possible in Godot to create a base or abstract scene, e.g. enemy, from which different scenes can be inherited? The child scenes could just have different attributes, e.g. speed, point value and a different sprite, but the logic of movement, exploding, etc. should be shared. The children might want to implement additional behavior like shooting or whatever. Okay. I realize you are asking if you can inherit from scenes. However, I would absolutely not recommend you inherit directly from scenes. That is because speed, point values, methods like shoot or other functions like shooting or whatever is not run by the node itself, but by the script that is assigned to the node. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to answer your question without answering your question, <laughs> if that makes any sense to you here. So let's start by creating a completely new project. What I'm going to show you in this project is how to inherit scripts and run common variables and functions. So let's start by creating our player here. Let's create a kinematic body, 2D. Now whether or not it's 2D or 3D, the principle behind it is the same. I'm going to rename this player. I'm going to press Ctrl S to save. I'm going to name it player as it's suggested right there, hit save, and create another scene. Now this will be our enemy character, and it will also inherit kinematic body 2D. Let's rename this enemy. Press Ctrl S to save, and save right there. Okay, so we have now two different characters. One is a playable character, one is just a NPC enemy. So how do we create a common scene, as you asked? Except I won't answer how to answer how to create a common scene. I will answer how to create a common script that both of these scenes are sharing in order to do common functions and have same properties such as health. So let's create a new script in our player here. Let's just name this player GD and hit create. Let's remove all the unnecessary commenting. Press Control S to save again and do the same for our enemy. Okay, so both our players and extends a kinematic body 2D. So, so let's start by creating a third script. Let's call this character. Create create here. Let's remove the commenting and let's change extends node to extends kinematic body 2D. So, how do we share properties? Well, first we'll have to make sure the enemy and player extends our character and that is simply done by changing the extends kinematic body 2D to extends and then the path to the script, which in this case will be rescharacter.gd. Let's copy this and do the same with the player. And let's test it out and make sure it works. So let's add a property on our character here, like health. Let's set the default health to 100. And let's create another one. Let's create armor here. So armor is also 800. So this can be default properties, which can be overridden when the enemy scene loads, we can change the values of health and armor. But let's first make sure it works. Like, let's go into our player and let's print the health. And let's see what happens. Select the player and hit this button, which will play your selected scene. Because we are having, we have different scenes there, which will, be, will do different things. So let's click this one. And as you can see down there, we printed out a hundred, because that is the health that is set by default. So what if we wanted to change our health? So when we create our player, we wanted, for example, to give him 10 health, because he is level 1 and really sucks. <laughs> so let's write health is equal to 10. Control S to save, and let's play the scene again. And now it prints 10, because we have overwritten the default health. Okay, so that's how we share properties, and set your own properties, depending on what type of character you have. So what if you wanted to share a method? For example, what if both characters should be able to speak. Let's create a function here. Let's call this function say something. What if you wanted to run this function on both of these at some point, but say different things? For example, if we were to use player now, actually let's go to the enemy because we haven't written anything here. Let's say something. And let's make sure something happens here. Let's use uh, something. And let's add something as a variable that you insert in something. Okay, let's go back here. Say something. Let's say hello. So let's hit the enemy and click this button here. 
So now he says hello using a shared variable which you send a string into. So if I were to do the player here, let's say something at the moment here. Say some something. And let's say something. Let's hit play again and now wait. I forgot to select player here. Let's select player and then try it again. And now it says something. So if you wanted to do a lot of more, do more, you could create a comment function that, that does something shared between them. Now what that may be is really up to you. A common shared function is usually like move, where you just insert the direction of where you're moving, and perhaps you're adding a force. So if you were to have a function that moves your character in that direction using this amount of force, you could just run it directly here. So whenever your character moves, you can have a you can have your own custom script for input, for example. And then run a move. Could be, for example, a vector two. And the direction could be towards the right, which would be a vector two with x value of one and y value of zero, which would directly move the character towards the right. Or rather, it's a direction towards the right, a normalized direction <laughs> towards the right. And let's see had the force of hundred, for example. So this would cause the character to move if you, for example, had a move. Yeah, that's it, move. So you could, for example, move direction, and then you add force to it, and it should move the both the enemy and player whenever it moves. Now, the enemy would probably have an algorithm in a loop that checks if whether or not he can move. And the player, however, would check for input. Now, I hope that answered your question to what you were asking. And that is how you can share common properties, functions, actions, and so on. If you have any further questions, feel free to comment them below and I will do my best to answer them. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you in a future video. Bye bye